GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8.5 Anniversary Update. Uh, so, last episode we left off with me finishing off with the Titans in the way of the Robinson Protocol, but not really finishing off with the Titans, so to speak. Here's another loot container. Um, we're going to pop this open with the drone. Because we have a core in it, so you can see I, go, I can go into the um, control panel of the uh, back part that we have the core in. And I can pretty much take whatever I want. You can see there is nothing, though. Um, but there are a bunch of cargo boxes, so those I can go into, and I can, like, just loot. <laughs> you can see I'm pretty full right now. And, okay, I'm getting really full. You can see I've been getting some good weapons and stuff. A couple of T2 assault rifles, pulse rifle T2. Uh, yeah, that actually I wanted to move. We're going to put the, oh man, we just got weapons coming out our yin-yang. Okay, let's put those away. We want our little starter HV that we built, still. This little zippy, zip around for cheap, 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 cheap. I'm really impressed with those hover thrusters. <laughs> they work, wow, for how cheap and efficient they are and how fast this thing is. It's I just, it's, I don't know, it, it, it felt just super duper fast compared to what it should have. Anyway, there, we can just jump in. So, yeah, that's pretty much got us full here. Let's go in here, we can go in and just put some stuff away. Got lots of stuff right now. So, I... I have it set so I can just take the whole block because I have it set to private and then I can choose on my um, multi tool if I want to do salvage it or take the whole block and for really expensive blocks I take the whole block because they have this new thing called a deconstruction um, machine or whatever it is what, what is it here let me let me go into the tech tree here so it's the, where was it again? Furnace, the deconstructor, yeah. So, very cool. Um, it's worth having a base now just for the furnace and the deconstructor, really. Uh, so I plan on making one north, and if you, if you look here, we're not even, we're not that north. We're not that north. That's fairly north. But... Really, we could be a lot more north if I want to put up a base. Alien Watchtower, we can't do anything about that. We want That's where we're, we're trying to get to. Um, shrine, yeah. So that's this is all going to be just a nasty, nasty area. The one thing I remember is I saw a teleporter inside there. So I'm thinking, and I've seen this before, and on multiplayer, it would teleport the person here. And then from there, there's a way to get to where we need to go, another teleporter, I think. So I think there's a teleport path we can follow without having to do it with a vehicle. And I think it's with the damaged alien tower. So, um, what I want to do right now is, instead of actually building a base, although, I mean, that would probably be the best thing, going down there, you know, get a real base going, get some water going. Um, I have a feeling there is a village right here, and I think I need to go check it out. Um, I don't know, maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. It just 
there, there should probably be some silicone around here too. It just feels like right around here should be a base. I don't know. May, may I could be completely wrong. Uh, at this point, I own two of the Titan pieces outright. And the front part, I'm really not even sure if I'm going to bother. I'll pro uh, well, no, the front part has all of the... Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely bother. That has all the grow plots in it. It's the mid part that there's really nothing there for me. Although it's probably easiest one to turn into a base. So would the, the front part would be too. And it's really close to water. I mean, that's not too too bad off to water too, but that's really close to water. Huh. We should go down there and just make turn it into a garden, seal it up. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I was doing that. I thought I, you know what? I thought I did own that, didn't I? I swear to God I did. It shows me has three, so let's. Small wreckage, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so you can power these on now. Get into the control proper. Can you actually get into these? Well, not those, but... Uh, what else? No cargo boxes. Oh, crap. I guess I can't check out to see if I can do anything. There's thrusters there still, though. A couple of thrusters. A few thrusters, yeah. Hmm. Small ones. Small ones. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Um, well, I think what we need to do is get... Whoops. No, we don't need to attach. I think what we need to do is we'll look at all those. If they spot me, they're all going to come after me. So that's so deadly now. They are like scary as as scary could be. And look at all the spiders. Oh, do they actually see me? Yep. Oh, crap. Can they get up here? Ugh. See, there's like eight of them or something. It's insane. I don't even know if I want to build around here. <laughs> really. I mean, maybe there. We really do need a base. And that makes the most sense. I could put like a hangar door in there and drive right in. <sighs> or extend it out. I think that's a good idea for now. We're just... Let's head over there. We're going to head over there and claim it. Those guys will give up any second because I'm way too far away from them, so they won't uh, they won't pursue. Oh, getting a little bit of choppiness. Uh, doesn't appear to be spider infested. That's always good. So let's take a look here. We're going to have to pop the course. We're going to have to find it. I think we got to... Anything? 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 Should we go cut this down? That's very, very loud. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's open this door. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can open the other one. I don't think I'll be able to. Maybe. 
sure I can. Uh, whatever I blew up, I blew up, I don't care. Okay, I should be able to get in there now and pop the core, so let's make one. And we can dump all this stuff in, all the loot. Good, good, good loot. Good, yummy loot. Mm. Okay. It's already refined. Okay, the, the rest goes into cargo and whatnot. I got some extra cargo boxes here we can place down right away. So, let's get a car. Oh, I already had one somewhere, didn't I? I th thought I put one in. It doesn't matter, I'll need cores. No? Okay, so let's... You know what? I'll probably need that. I'm gonna need that. I'll probably need that. Maybe you need that. I won't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. Won't need that. Get those out of there. Now let's dump those. Get all that out. Okay. Um... Okay, and that's as high as we can go. That looks good. Let's do this. Okay, and cores right there. same spot so at least I don't want to put it in the ceiling you know what I can put it in the floor here yeah I don't need to dig this out that's good it uh, wow that only the underside is actually buried so only one level is buried instead of both that's pretty good usually this thing is always buried this is kind of like the first time I don't have to dig this out. And there's spiders. Nice. I hear them. Yep, they're out there. Uh, might be sentry guns going up pretty quick. <laughs> okay, so now that there's no core, let's zap a block out and put a, put a core in. Right? And then we can put some doors in. So where do we want to put the core? Should we replace this one with core? Yeah, let's do this. And we can go like this and core that up. Okay, so now that we own this thing, let's go make some make some doors and stuff, right? <laughs> Since I just blew them all up. And we gotta like seal this thing, so I gotta yeah, I need to make some doors. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can make doors, yep. So we'll make uh, a couple more, at least get that sealed. Uh, we'll have to work on the, the hangar bay by uh, extending all this out, cleaning up the back of it and extending it out, I think. Um, have a separate garden. Uh, okay, so let's do this. What else do we need then? I'm gonna need let's do a capacitor. Do the small ones. Well, let's do them. We can always remove and build bigger ones and then throw them in like the deconstructor, right? 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 Isn't that the whole point? We only lose like 20% of the mats, so that sounds like a plan. Because I'm pretty sure the Titans now are flat. <laughs> they seem to rest flat all the time now. So that's really handy. 
see their level, which is kind of cool. They never used to be level for quite a few alphas, and it was like you never really wanted them to turn one into a base because of that, because it just it kind of sucked living on an angle. Um, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It's fun. Now they're flat, so it's even cooler. So you can actually do it. It's too bad it's not an actual CV, it's just a base, but... Okay, how are we doing here? Well, I babble. We got that going. We got some of those going. So I guess we'll throw those up top. And then we're going to start sealing in the... The... Um, at least the interior shell will we'll clean up all the crap blocks that are sealed and replace those. In the meantime, we can get these in and placed. Okay, we've got to eat something. One more, that looks good. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on the radar because I got no turrets right now. So if something comes, I gotta come out and deal with it by hand or jump in the HV before it gets blown up. So let's grab our stuff. It's slow. Okay, well we'll we'll grab the stuff as it as it gets developed. Let's get in here so that we don't draw attention to ourselves. Yeah, it's a lot of blocks to replace, but I think it'll be worth it. can be worth it it's like see I can I can just put blocks in places certain places so oh let's start with a door yeah derp a derp right um, do we want a door like that yeah we do okay so there we go now we're sealed back in again I feel a little better it's not sealed but and then do the same thing here. Space it inward. Okay. So I think I want to put the capacitor in here. So let's see. I think I can get rid of all these columns along here. I'm pretty sure I can. Well, I don't want to retrieve. Let's salvage. And that's steel block. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's good filler blocks. Yeah, let's retrieve that then. Those I just want to salvage. So all the blocks I don't want to use to build with, I'm just going to salvage. And then I can turn them into better blocks that way. Get all this crap off the roof that's all broken. And so I can like... Oh, Get rid of that stuff and replace it with like I think the overhead stuff is going to be the hardened steel. So I guess I could put replace that with that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, 
So I want to, I'm going to want to strip all that crap off because that actually interferes with that whole block. So let's launch our drone and do this with the drone. So all this crap is actually a full block in value when it when it figures where you can place stuff. So it it really interferes with with putting in your gear. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. It's not needed. And those the spiders are really annoying. I can't wait to make some sentry guns and have them just leveling the spiders all the time. <laughs> I don't like the fact that there's a spider spawn right beside me. Okay, we can leave that light in. That's obviously needed. Uh, I, I'm going to get rid of this console. Uh, let's retrieve that. Okay, so we'll retrieve that. Retrieve that. And that's actually going to be a salvage. Because that's just a destroyed block. Okay, now we're going to salvage these. Okay, so now it looks like we have a sealed ceiling, walls, and door. And we just need a few blocks in here. Um, so I think on the floor, I'm not going to do the, I'm going to just cheap out on the floor. Let's do metal in here. I'm going to do the concrete in the, um, come on, there we go. And that, and that, and oh, we need one. Well, okay, we'll find, we'll use, we'll use it. Okay, technically now this should be a sealed room and it won't it won't actually seal until we power it up. But this should be a sealed room. We can clean it up a tad here. There's a little bit of a little bit of dirt. Okay, so this should be a sealed room. It looks sealed. And we can check by hitting N and going to the debug and selecting the show air type blocks. We can hit N again to get rid of that and take a look around. Everything's airtight except for the light and the block underneath it is, so that doesn't matter. And you can see that this is showing airtight here, this block where the door is, because the door is airtight. So it, it's all it's all good. So when we fire this up, it should come up to temperature or down to temperature, whatever it's at. Uh, it'll come down to 22 degrees. It should. Uh, so let's get rid of that. And we'll throw in the... Which way do we want this facing? We want it like that. And then uh, we need to go put out a bunch of blocks, right? So let's go do that. Now there's probably, you know what, we can... We gotta replace that anyway. There's a bunch of these that we gotta get rid of. But I'm gonna do it from the inside first so that I'm not replacing blocks that I don't need to. Okay, um, hmm very interesting so let's take a look at you know what I'll launch this in a second I got to figure out which way I'm facing so south is that way okay okay I'm facing south south is to the hover vessel okay Let's do this again. <laughs> and where did I come out of? I can. Again, I need to clean this up anyway. Let's come out here. Okay, so south is that way. Okay. 
Okay. So the sun is always going to be there. I guess it doesn't matter. Where do we want to? Where do we want to put these things? I don't want to do it too much there because it's probably going to be whacking a bunch of that down. You know what? Let's so is that way. If I just lined them all up like that, that's not a bad idea, right? Or, ooh, this is a better idea. This is a better idea. Let's make this flat. And then, oh, is that not going to, oh, we can't do it. No, can't do it. Okay. We can do it like that. We can do it like that. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. Oh, you can see see how the blocks are lighting up. It's it's trying to power up, but it doesn't quite have enough. It ends up using up its juice. That's funny. That's funny. I wonder where it's potential to actually stay lit is. Let's see. I wonder how much energy it uses. Um, consumption. Whoa. Whoa, 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 crap. Oh, no. Wow, see what happens when you don't pay attention? Or did I get like a, was that a legitimate attack? I don't know, that was rocket drones. Is that, is that a drone based? No, they, no. I think it was just replacements maybe. And they took forever? Wow, that's like days. Really? Or was that just like a... Where's my... Oh, is it staying lit now? Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> did, did it even shoot at me? Did it even shoot at this thing? Did I just get super lucky there? Oh my god, I am like, okay, I'm going to save this template right now, just, well, I don't know why, why not? Uh, wow, crazy, okay, let's loot this. <laughs> okay, all the more reason to be more vigilant. <laughs> my god, right after saying that, too. I feel like a freaking idiot. <sighs> and the worst thing is, I'm up here with the drone and I didn't even see it. Pathetic. I'm just pathetic. <laughs> but you know what? I don't think it really did anything. I think it, it was shooting at the... I don't know what it was shooting at, to tell you the truth. Ugh. I don't know. Okay, well... Well, all the more reason to get this thing fired up then, right? Right? Let's get these up here. And that means we also want to make a generator. And a couple of fuel tanks. We're going to get a large constructor going. That's all this thing can do right now that I know how to do. That contributes. Don't need that. 
Okay, so let's put these up. That was pretty crazy. You know what? Let's just go up here then. So I don't have to run for it. And that way I can still... Oops, don't fall in. Hey, the, actually, this isn't bad. I got some cover now. Can I spawn my drone? Yep, nice. Okay, so let's lay out the rest of these. Come on, come on. What can I, oh, because there's a, that's fine. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> oh, the other side too? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Oh, it's this block. Whoops. Right? It was that block, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay. And one more. Can I block myself in? I might. I might. Let's not do that then. Let's refrain from that. Well, that was convenient. That just kind of laid out quite nicely <laughs> along the top, didn't it? Huh. Well, it was kind of meant for that, I guess. Whoa, a slight little tap in it. <laughs> I could just fly in this jet. With the uh, booster on, that's awesome. Okay, so this part won't be sealed because there's just tons of holes everywhere, and I gotta dig it up. Well, the lights come on for quite a while. Ooh, are they staying on now? That is, is it actually generating more electricity than it's using? Nice. Nice. And, yep, 22 degrees. 24. Oh, it just lost its power. But then it powers up for a second and it cools down. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so what is consuming so much freaking power? Uh, there's a fridge. Um, here, let's group everything. Um, hmm, equipment. Oh, the deco, yeah. Look at that. It, it consumes energy, each one. Grow lights, lights. Each one consumes... One kilowatt. Wow. So that's 17. So we can... Can we not turn that off? Can we just not turn that off? It doesn't give us a... It doesn't give us a way just to turn that off. we got to go remove them. That sucks. I wonder if we can make it follow a switch. We can't even make it follow a switch. That's too bad. Lights, on the other hand, we can just turn off. So if we go like this. And then... Let's see. Is that what it needs? Consumption 71. Current output 5. What? Whoa. Okay, and then...
zero watts, zero max generator, zero watts, max. Why is it not? It should be like gaining tons of battery. Like, is my math horrible or something? Like, how can, with it getting 516 kilowatts, how is 71 kilowatts eating up too much power? Ugh. That makes no freaking sense. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put a... I'm, I'm just going to have to put a freaking fuel tank in. And every once in a blue moon, when it builds up a charge, it'll eat that up. I guess. I mean, it, it's got to help counter the cost of the fuel, right? Okay, so I want to grab a bunch of this too, because we're going to be firing up and making some nice stuff, some better stuff. To grab that, I need the... What else do I need? I need the, uh, that. Well, I'll need it all. I'll have to come back and grab it. It's just the way... It just it is what it is and oh we had some power for a second there okay so let's do the small generator And fuel tanks. Huh. Okay, why can't I? It's not gonna let me. What? What's it doing? God, that was weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't want like it like that. Let's do it like that. And we're going to spin it. Uh, should we do it? Let's do the this one in the corner. So this is the dangerous one. And then... And then why is that even running? Oh, did that fix it? Oh, that might have fixed it. Let's take a look. Remember, remember how it was screwed up? It might have, that might have actually fixed it. Yes, it seems to be staying on now. Slowly going down as the sun goes down. Oh, no. No, I guess it did not fix it. Okay. Or did it? It made it. Might have. I don't know. Uh, I'm just not seeing the correlation between the consumption and the current output. It's... The math isn't working out properly there. Anyway, we'll just go with it. We'll, it looks like it might help us anyway. So let's do this. <clears throat> we'll put some fuel in here. Okay. And we are no more brownouts. Well, let's get the constructor down. Now, for the constructor, I don't need it all the way to the back. I think... Um, I think right here at the door is fine. Like that. Okay. 
So let's get all this crap in here. Okay, and then now we can make a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, cannon turret! So, uh, let's make a ammo box. That's good for everything. And we'll make a couple of cannon turrets. And can we make the... Oh, I didn't take the anti-personnel sentry guns. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, I can make the T2 drill. And oh, I got lots of plastic, so we can make all the charges too. So we got a bunch of promethium. We're golden. We're going to do good here. We are going to do good here. Okay, so let's make one, two, three. Yeah. We're going to make a mean. Um, I guess we should get some ammo going for it. Let's see. No. Oh, that's the new icon for it. That's trippy. Okay. Seventy per, so that's seven hundred, fourteen hundred, twenty one hundred, twenty eight hundred. We're going to have three turrets. They're going to go through a lot of ammo if, if lots of stuff starts coming at us. I don't think it will, though. I don't think powering up a POI uh, triggers drone base attacks, but we had a drone come by, so it'll, it'll deter that. And, you know, if it starts just constantly throwing troop transports at us or something, you know. <laughs> Ugh. Come on. So that can be a drag waiting for stuff to build in this game. So let's... Should we get the... Should we open the door up here right now and just bring this inside and, and multi-tool it down? And then we can um, spawn the uh, the better one up on the roof or something. So it's safe. Or I guess it doesn't matter once we get the turrets up, right? Yeah, once we get the turrets up. Turrets up um, oh, there's the stats. take a lot to uh, that's actually a decent amount of uh, sathium and iron actually I didn't realize it was that much in here that's okay that's okay the other two parts can give us even more than that right so nice well you know what I think I'm gonna leave it off here I haven't really done much or should I you know what you know what Let's let's place them. Let's let's. It's okay. We haven't been running for that long. What I'll do is let's place a couple cargo boxes, and we'll get. We can put that out here somewhere, just so it's easy, easier, easy for us to get to right now. Sure, that's good enough for now. We can use these as our dump chests. Uh, which I'm going to actually do right now. Get rid of a bunch of stuff on me. Well, that's all I want to get rid of on me right now. Well, I guess I can get rid of that. I so don't really need those right now. Okay space. I don't need that. Oh, 
drills that I could make go make the drill right away. I should. <laughs> I will. Uh, okay, so let's get all the stuff out of this. Wow. Build that one up. Oops, didn't want to jump in. Okay. That stuff. And nothing in there. More stuff in the constructor. some of this and there's nothing I can stack up nope okay try stacking stuff right now none of this will stack that did well actually that well it doesn't matter right now just got to get rid of this stuff. Okay. Good. Now we want to take all of its ammo. Or, sorry, it's a uh, fridge. Grab that because we've got another fridge that we can use. Right here. With food in it. That's awesome. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, let's grab the ammo, grab the ammo and fuel now. And then let's grab its parts. So we want to grab the whole block for this because I'm going to be needing that again. We're going to grab that. Uh, well, we're going to grab whole blocks for everything. It's just some stuff we're not going to be throwing into the. Uh, Blueprint factory for the other HV. We're just gonna hold on to it. Oops, what was in there? Ooh, nice. 135 logs. Forgot about that. thing about vehicle destruction uh, when you're using a multi-tool is you don't have to worry about um, structural integrity because there isn't any on vehicles. So you can even design things based on that and have floating parts on your ship. As you can see, 
Actually, because I leave the core, well, it doesn't even matter if I left the core. There's no structural integrity, period. So I don't have to worry about things getting destroyed. So it's just down to the core. Yeah, I've got enough space on me. Oh, I got the core back. Nice. A lot of times you don't. So let's go into the blueprint here that we have in the factory. So I put too much sathium in. Uh, it doesn't matter about the production time. Remember, I had it at, um, at doesn't matter. <laughs> I had it at doesn't matter. Uh, so we're never going to use those again. Let's throw those in there for sure. Um, okay, so we probably get rid of those. Means a lot, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, let's see the steel blocks. We can do the fridge. Fuel tanks. There we go. That's getting getting better. I want to keep that. Uh, it comes with lights, so I don't need the lights. Comes with guns. Oops. There we go. Uh, comes with the cockpit. And don't need any more harvest boxes. We'll keep the ammo box. We'll keep the armor locker. We'll keep the detector. We'll keep the cargo boxes. We'll keep the harvest module. It's already got harvest boxes on it because it's got drills, so. Uh, the bullets. Okay, let's just grab ingots for the rest then. So it's iron, copper, and silicone. Iron, not sure if that's going to be enough. Right. Grab parts and stuff then. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? You know what? We had all this stuff too. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that HV? Group that together at least. I can put rifles in. Put that in. I can put that in. I can make more. Okay, so. Getting there. Oh, wait. Crusted the iron mark. It's just iron. Okay. Um, okay, about a hundred and eleven silicone. And a hundred and twenty eight copper. Okay. okay. That's uh, okay. Oops. Uh, 
next. Yeah, I know. Fine. Although, take that. I'll keep that on me. Okay. Let's grab all this stuff now. So we need uh, 48. Oops. Which way am I facing? Yeah, this should be clean. Spawn this in. So... Should I do it up top for now? Just to, I don't know. Should I? I don't know now. Huh. Okay, so how are we gonna put the turrets? thinking hmm wonder how they're gonna look if they sit right on top and are they gonna completely nullify let's take a look so they're at they are getting power Now, does that kill it? Does that kill its power? We'll see. We'll see. It might. It probably will, right? Oh, well. They weren't helping that much anyway. They can mount the turrets now. <laughs> Okay, so I want to turn Predator off on these ones. Now, what I should do is just go like this. And then we go to the turret. And we do Predator off. That should be good. Okay. And we'll put the... We'll spawn our vehicle here. And then go put uh, the ammo box and the ammo in. So we can just spawn that right here. I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, personal light. So this is it. This is my T1 Mini Miner. It is fairly tiny, but it packs a lot of punch. It has it's very versatile. And as you can see, it is made for mining. And it can mine extremely well and very fast. It's, uh, it's probably the easiest miner I've ever driven. Um, I'm actually kind of proud of this one. It flies quite nicely. It handles very nicely. It doesn't bounce around like a regular small vehicle does. And it's because of how I arrange the cover engines on it. Uh, I'll show you guys. We'll take it out for a quick spin and then we'll call this an episode. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Let's go put this in really quick here.
let's go put this in just in case. I want to put the. I want to put it in here somewhere. So I think. I think up here it's going to be good for that. And then we'll. Whoa! Wait! I said no predator. What the heck are they shooting at? Oh, I bet you they're shooting at the fucking... Oh, I know what they're shooting at. God, really? Stop it. Stop. Stop. Why are they shooting at predators? Oh, I didn't apply to group, that's why. Oh, come on, really? Okay, is it done? Wow. Okay, uh, get that in there, get that back in there. And we can mount that stuff. We can put more bullets in there. Yeah, those spiders are very annoying. Oh my god. Okay. We have a base with a large constructor that's sealed. We've got some grow plots. We've got to get this all sealed in. So, so what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to dig all this up and seal the inside of this in. And I'm going to build a hangar bay out the back for the, um, for the mini miner. And uh, potentially maybe a two-tier one or something so that I can get an SV going. Uh, and then... Next episode, we're going to take the miner out. I, I'm probably going to take the miner out anyway and just mine like crazy, but I'll take the miner out and show you a couple. I'll, I'll probably mine out a deposit just to show you how freaking ridiculous fast it is. Like ridiculous fast. Like in under a minute, you've mined out a medium or large size deposit. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, oh, well, maybe not the T1. The, the, the regular T2 one does but the, with the lasers with the freaking lasers pair this stuff up there it was shooting at my how was it getting shots through that makes no freaking sense huh okay well that's weird there we go <laughs> fixing it up there we go. Get our base back. You know what? Maybe I'll turn this light on. I should make a switch for it. And then, you know what? That that really sucks. Let's change that. I want the intensity up just a smidge. I like that it's more granular, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, it's not granular. Well, oh well, that's fun. That's funny, but that's that's fine. And then we want that color. Yeah, that's gonna work better. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it here, guys. This this is good. This is good. We've got a base up going. Uh, up and going <laughs> without really much effort and uh and it's solid it's like uh combat steel and it's pretty large so i know it's just taking over another poi it's a real cheesy move but i think at this point i don't want to spend a lot of time base building stuff i want to i just want to get myself up to the point where i can keep continuing with the robson protocol so next episode we'll take the uh, hv out and do some major scouting, uh, some mining. We'll, um, we'll, we'll probably even go check out the um, that uh, that abandoned or whatever it is, the damaged alien tower, and see if we can take a quick peek 
in there and scout around and maybe even use the teleporter really quick. I don't know if we're going to get trapped, so we, we potentially won't take all of our good stuff with us. Um, oh, what I wanted to do is I'm going to have a bunch of portable parts with me that I'm going to be putting on and off the HV. And the clone chamber is definitely one of them. So I need to spec into the clone chamber. Well, it looks like I, I can spec into the deconstruct. So it looks like I got a lot of specking to do. I've got 277 points. Okay, so I'm going to study what I need to do and I'm going to take what I need and, and start building some stuff. Get this get this going. Get, get a real base going for once. And... Uh, and then get the Robson Protocol done and then see what we have to do after that. You know, I, I'm assuming we got to make a, uh, a CV eventually because I think we got to warp somewhere that's too far for an for a SV. So should be interesting. Well, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.